Hey there. This little setup seemed too weird to not share, so, um, hi there. I've been uh, hard at work getting everything ready for uh, my shop update and for Dragon Con, which is at this point just a week and a half away. Um, I made all the arms, I cleaned them up, I, uh, I painted them, and as you can kind of see here, I've gone for like a aged bronze kind of look. And, um, and then just to uh, embed the screws in them, the easiest way to do it seemed to be to just lash them together and turn them into little tripods, um, which look extra creepy and alien. And uh, yeah, so they're all drilled out and, you know, most of them have the screws in them and some like these four here um, are still waiting to have the screws epoxied in. And then um, what else have I been doing? I made uh, a whole bunch of new wands and a new batch of these guys. And um, this time they're made out of resin instead of the ultra cal that I was using before. So um, yeah, so for these, it'll have to be um, like LED candles instead of uh, real candles because the flame would, you know, make the the resin smoke and be awful and, well, kill you, I guess. Um, and, uh, yeah, and same with like plants. I guess you could like put an actual potted plant in there, but I don't know like if the the resin would leach chemicals into the soil and hurt the plant or something like that. So, you know, air plants and stuff like that are, are better. And uh, I made a whole bunch of uh, new little bottle stopper ladies and some of them I, I just have here uh, without the stoppers and then these down here, you can see all the stoppers are attached, and um, and more arms, and gosh, and then, yeah, the, the big arms are there, and I attached these um, flush mounting brackets so that when they're on the, uh, when they're on the wall, they'll really sit flush, and, um, and I actually have, just as a proof of concept, um, I got a little set of LED candles, and uh, they, they look really cool. I don't know, I, like, I really dig it. I only just did this um, a few minutes ago. Um, I'll be curious to see what kind of mood it gives after dark when the candle kind of is doing more. And the, uh, the set of candles that I got, I found on, on Amazon and they have, they have a remote, which is super cool. So um, yeah, so I could just put them wherever and, use the remote and I guess you know once I start selling them I, I'm not gonna sell them with the candles because I want people to be able to do you know whatever their favorite thing is so you know if they want to get some sort of even like you know voice activated smart candle type thing and that way you know they can sound like a wizard and just tell the candles to turn on and they'll turn on which would be cool um, and uh, yeah, but I guess, you know, also, you know, solid resin. So just like with the little planter things, um, yeah, not a good idea to actually put a real candle in there. Um, but yeah, these worked out really well. And the only reason that I only ended up making four of them was because I just ran out of resin. Um, I've, I just made such a, a lot of stuff that eventually I just ran out of materials and I had to just, you know, decide whether I was going to go back to the shop and get more, or if I, you know, needed to switch gears and start actually cleaning them and polishing them and painting them, um, because I could cast things all day and then end up in a situation where nothing's done by the time the, uh, the show happens. So, yeah, so I've been doing all of this, and then on the other end of things, I've been trying to do some more promotional type things for the show. So I've got this, my brother-in-law actually made this cool uh, QR code that has uh, like the, yeah, my logo that I sculpt into uh, things. Um, this one, I think that one is a photoshopped from the signature that I did on this. So 
that particular signature, I think, is the one that I took into Photoshop and manipulated and turned into this logo that I use for stuff. But anyway, it's cool that it's incorporated into that. And um, yeah, I'm trying to do all the things. I've got a million business cards and all sorts of promotional materials. And in this is a six foot retractable banner, which I'm excited about. And I will show another time soon since I'm holding the video camera. I only have one hand and I can't actually set it up, but I'll, I'll share uh, more of what that looks like. But um, yeah, but it'll be cool to finally do a show where I'm not stuck in a situation where when I'm setting things up, I have to try to figure out how to hang a banner off of whatever, whatever kind of cloth backdrop or whatever it is or rigging that, that they've given me. And they always have all sorts of weird rules and restrictions about you can use this material and not that. And, you know, this way, um, yeah, it should be super easy to just pull the thing up, put the, the collapsing rod that it comes with behind it and be good to go. Um, and so, yeah, all, all sorts of things like that. I've been just crazy busy. Um, and, uh, yeah, and I hope you're doing well, and I'll, uh, I'll be getting in touch soon with another update. All right.